Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the new days. Well, today is Saturday, September 23rd, 2017, right after the autumn equinox and Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets. And there's a lot of signs about the biblical end times happening and starting right around us. Many people have talked of September 23rd being the end of the world this year. We do not predict dates. We, we did not predict anything would happen on this date. On our channel, we show how all of the world is as a matrix, going exactly by the Bible. You have free will, but it really stops at what toothpaste you buy, what car you buy, how you brush your hair. Nearly every other thing is set in place. It, it's going according to a plan everything. We are exactly where we were supposed to be. The earth is created. We show that. The spiritual realms control everything and then the dark side, the the evil angels of Satan try to tilt the scale to steal your soul. So many people predicted this date. On our channel we showed that we don't know a date but that every single month there is a cycle that happens. This is Washington, Washington D.C. Here's the White House. Right here. The White House. And it shows by the Bible the 50, when the fifth angel comes with the key to open the abyss. And you can see what is termed as the woman of the Bible here with the nuclear football. From the 14th to the 15th, this symbolism plays out every month. It's playing out today perfectly, even though the world is not ending which it won't end, there will be a new beginning. The age of Christ is coming, actually, after war. But from the 14th to 15th, the nuclear football is teed up. The nuclear football means more than just war. Do you see China right here? And a five for the fifth angel coming and the nuclear football. And America owes China 19 trillion dollars. They will break the dollar on that day and the markets will crash. Between China and Russia, they can break the dollar because the USA owes 19 trillion dollars to China. Obama will rise back up as World War III begins. Here is Donald Trump, part of what's known as a great deception and war coming. He represents the horsemen of war and a time of a great deception. See the magician? And when the tower comes down, see the red armies come? And then the time of Israel and Judah will rise up with the new staff over here. But Donald Trump represents the second horseman of war. These signs all played out today. See the 14th to the 15th, the large CERN Hadron Collider to open the abyss. And then up to the 23rd today, the throne of Abraham. Whoever sits there represents controlling the world. And here comes this character, see the V for the fifth angel and the 50, and a bomb. See the same picture? See him coming down from the tower with the bombs all going off? There he is, right there. That represents one of the beasts of the Bible and the red horse of war, right there. And the grievous head wound coming. And then Jesus goes to the throne at the top. The 23rd means more than just 23. It also means the second and the third horsemen. Today is the 23rd. As we showed on our channel, just because the whole world doesn't, didn't blow up, it doesn't mean the signs have not happened. You are supposed to come to the Lord Jesus Christ during all of this. Today, a magnitude 6.1 shakes Mexico. Well, that should be a sign to everyone on the 23rd. 6-1 is the white horse ready to ride. 
and then will come the Donald Trump horse of war. See, Donald Trump represents war. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat down to take peace from the earth. So realize that. Donald Trump will never bring you peace. Never, never, never. He will fight and fight and fight. It is against his very nature from God to be peaceful. Donald Trump is war. That's all he is. That's all he will ever be. And that's all he's ever going to be. Is just war. See him there? He fights with everybody and everything. He takes peace from the earth. That's all he'll ever be. I'm sorry. War. That's what he's supposed to be. So we have the 6-1 with the white horse ready to ride and the red horse all ready to rise. And today we also have earthquakes in North Korea, which in the Bible it's prophesied that a, a land from the north will come and utterly destroy the USA, Babylon, and then everybody will go to Jerusalem. It's prophesied for the USA to be destroyed. And Jeremiah 50, remember the 50 again, Jesus Christ brings them against everyone. The judgment of Babylon. For out of the north there coming up a nation against her which shall make her land desolate and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart, both man and beast. Hope goes to Israel and Judah. The USA destroyed. Hope, the new staff, goes to Israel and Judah. See it there in the wheel of the great tribulation all coming. So it's all been playing out perfectly. So even though nothing happened, everything did happen. We have the 6-1 earthquake, and we have North Korea coming. There's actually a big thing going on where this man is trying to steal the white horse. We know this, because the white horse can defeat him later on. See Revelation 19, Jesus goes to the marriage, and then he gets his white horse, and he can defeat the beast and the false prophet. He can be defeated. There are many characters in the end times, the seven-headed beast, and Antichrist, Satan, and the two beasts that rise up out of the sea. See the beast out of the sea, the beast out of the earth, the mark of the beast, all coming. He's one of those beasts. You can see the door shutting. Then over here you can see Obama even rising back up. <clears throat> so you can see all of that happening right in front of us. Well, these things play out all the time, even in the movies. In the heart of the sea, Moby Dick, the white whale, rises. The conqueror. Some say that will be Jesus Christ. In Batman vs. Superman, Batman is after one thing, and one thing only, to try to get the white horse. You see the white Portuguese? He's after the white horse. Because the white horse, you can escape judgment. That's what it says in the Bible. You're white and you're clean. Every bit of evil is after the white horse. Even Donald Trump wants to try to steal the white horse. Because the red horse is just war. You're basically not allowed into heaven. See you later. Bye. The white horse represents Jesus. And it's shown right here in the oil rig scene of man of steel, Jesus Christ coming with a vesture of red, just a robe of red. Here they show the oil rig going down. <clears throat> In the Bible it talks of having your oil. The tower is coming down. The tower is coming down. He will get us through the door and then the red horse of war is coming. <clears throat> There's Jesus Christ, and he gets sent in. They keep saying there's no hope. This is Jesus coming to save us all and to open the door. We're considered to be down here getting our oil. There's our tower. That's Jesus coming to save us. Only he can open and close the door. Here we all are in blue and gold as we showed. There's the door. 
it says 22 right on it. There's 22 and Jesus is coming to save us from the red horse and war. See everybody in blue as we keep showing? We're all mining for our oil. If you don't know what it means to have your oil, you need to go read your Bible right now. If you don't have your oil, you're never going to get to heaven. Only Jesus can give you that oil. Pray to him. And here comes Jesus right through the flames to get us. This is in the Old Testament that he will come save us right through the flames. And then will come a golden idol where everybody will have to bow. If you bow to it, you lose your soul. It's like taking the mark of the beast. Jesus saves us right there. We go through the door. We go through the door. He's not allowed in the door. He is war and brings the golden calf idol deception, a deceiver. See, we go in the door. The blue goes. We're safe. This is Coast Guard 6510. We're gonna make one more pass and we're getting the comes our white horse. Told you the white horse goes. Wait, wait, wait. I got some guys in the Jesus is going to have to hold everything up for us because he can literally fly to heaven. Remember, he can fly. Remember how he showed his apostles when he left? He just ascended right into the sky. Six one one. People will want to turn that over and try to make nine one one out of it every single time. That's not what it means. Six one. The white horse. Now six one one. And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren just should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. And then terror rises. The terror will be Jesus Christ opening everything up and bringing his wrath. It'll be shown right here as Moby Dick rising up and bringing terror everywhere against anyone that didn't go with him. You have to go in the door. See there? Everybody get on their helicopter and get out of here. Jesus will hold the tower as long as he can. There goes our tower. The last guy. He is the first and the last. There's a reason for this. Because he has the keys of hell and death. He's the first and the last. 23 represents the two and the three horse. See, Jesus is the first and the last because he has the keys of hell and death. The 23 represents the two horse of war and the three horse of famine. Donald Trump, the red horse. Batman, the black horse. They're all trying to get on the white horse. They're not allowed. Here is Batman is even talking about trying to steal the white horse because then he can escape everything. Only the white escapes judgment. The white horse. Hey, Jesus holds us all up. Now you can see the whales. See Jesus? He starts thinking of when he was a kid and where he had to go through with his mother to save for his mother to save him. And you can see Jesus right here.
See the whales? Just like Jonah and the whale. Jesus talked of that's the In the movie, he actually goes and gets an ark now, a big ship, and he sits on a big throne inside of a ship called the Genesis Chamber. Literally. That's what Jesus Christ does in here, the Superman, Man of Steel, Son of God. And he has the Genesis ship ready to remake everything. He has to go through all the fights and everything in there. But it represents here. The next stage. Remember, the next one is terror. The sixth seal, lo, there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became as blood. Just like today. See the earthquakes happening? And all the signs? Everything happening around us? And Donald Trump is making God angry because he's talking of war everywhere. He has to wait his turn. He actually wants to try to get the bow and the crown of the first horseman. He wants to try to steal this. On the white horse, they all want to get the bow and the crown. That belongs to Jesus. They represent war. So he goes and gets his ship, and the next part is terror. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every freeman hid themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come. And who shall be able to stand? Just like here where Moby Dick rises. It goes right after a big ship with an American flag on it. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead. And you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Donald Trump represents number two. The horse of war coming. May God have mercy on us all. That's why everywhere he goes, you will see him do nothing but have war. That's all he'll ever be. But he has a, he has a part to play in the end time role. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. In the Bible, it's all about getting your oil to get to heaven and to get through Jesus' door. Hallelujah. See the whale? This picture is in the Denver International Airport. You see this side? The turtle, the turtle in the Bible even represents a birth. And now you have the whale ready to rise. And the ship up here. See the kingdom of God? See up there you can see an actual city on a kingdom with the face of an eagle. And the Revelation 13 beast coming. All right there. May God have mercy on us all. See, there's the whale. See, the woman and the turtle. And that represents the ark and the oil to pass over everything. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Donald Trump represents the great deception in the time of the golden calf idol. We're supposed to go in the door. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. And may God have mercy on us all. After this, terror rises. And they all run from... Jesus Christ, who sits on the throne. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. How does one come to know the sea's dark secrets? Monsters, are they real? I want you to tell me what happened. Tell me the secret of the Essex. I don't expect a writer to understand, Mr. Melville. Promise me to come back. I'll come back as quick as the summer's night, I swear. Normally, a captain gets to choose his first mate. An experienced captain, yes. Centuries before, sailors feared sailing off the edge of the earth.
headed for the edge of sanity. I believe you have seen things no one else has seen. What is it? is true. 